I'm here to talk to you today about the gold medals that people are chasing. World championships, people's quest to become a world champion and become the best in the world. Well, you have different sides of the coin, it's different sides of the fence. Some people want to have you believe that martial arts is bigger than gold medals. And I agree to a point. And Lloyd Irvin doesn't teach martial arts because he focuses so much on gold medals. First of all, it is true that for the last 12 plus years, I've had guys and I have coached guys in the UFC and coached a UFC champion. We have guys become world champions at the blue, purple, brown, working on a black belt world title. That's true. But let me be 100% clear that this is such a small, tiny, minuscule part of what I do in the martial arts world. With our school over 17 years in existence in PG County, Maryland, having helped thousands and thousands of families in my community, I am beyond delighted with the results we've gotten from our kids and adults in our martial arts program. And like I said, what we do on the competition side is such a tiny, minuscule part. Like, when everyone has been to my school, you know that the competitor and the competition side is very small. But that is what you see in my reality show. That is what you see in the BJJ Kumite. That's what you see in the Next World Champion reality show. And that's what you see me promote. Why is that? Because whether you believe this or not, there are people worldwide, from country to country and state to state, that have decided that they want to dedicate their life to becoming the best they can be, to becoming a world champion in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. And this is no different than any other sport. Some people make a decision they want to be the best in football and make it to the NFL. Some people they want to be the best in baseball and make it to the major leagues. And I also agree that the mass majority of students that come to martial arts did not come because they wanted to get medals. They came because they got bullied. They came because they wanted to get in shape. They came for different reasons. Like myself, when I started martial arts, I was three years old. My parents put me in martial arts to what? I was hyperactive kid. The doctors wanted to put me on drugs and they wanted to avoid that. Hence, I started at three years old high school, went to college, stopped training martial arts in college, and then I came back after. And I came back for one reason, because of Hoist Gracie. And I wanted to become a UFC fighter. I wanted to fight mixed martial arts. And guess what? I walked into a Brazilian jiu-jitsu school, and they tricked me. They put me in this gi, and next thing you know, I'm competing in sport jiu-jitsu. I forgot all about mixed martial arts at first. And then all of a sudden, the competitive side of me, I wanted to become the best. I wanted to become the best I could be in this sport, just like everyone else worldwide who is chasing these medals. Now, I'm going to tell you this. There are people out here that say, well, it's not about the medals. I say it's bullshit. It's not about the medals. It's about the friendships. It's about the relationships. It's about everything else about besides the chasing the medal, besides getting the medal. And I want to address that. You have a person that may be a one-time, two-time, three-time black belt world champion, he'll say it, or she'll say it, and then everyone comes, oh, see, you see Blasey, Blasey said that it's not about the world title. But I'll ask you this. Right now, anyone in the world that has ever become a world champion, anyone that has ever obtained a medal like this and has the honor and privilege of calling himself a world champion, I guarantee you that if I was to give them $100,000 in exchange for their medal, with the only stipulation being that this, I give you $100,000 and you have to give me back your medal. But when you exchange your medal for the $100,000, you're gonna er we're gonna erase and remove every single memory, every single relationship, 
every single thing that has anything to do with your attainment of this metal. So if you started training at 11 years old, and you got your blue belt or whatever the kid belts are, and you worked all your life, and one day you became a world champion and got this medal. Any friendship you got, if you met your wife or your boyfriend or your husband through martial arts, through training, at the tournaments, anything that is related to the attainment of this medal, this world title, this world championship, will be erased. It doesn't exist. I guarantee you not one single person will do it. I'll up it to $250,000 in exchange for their gold medal. They won't do it. A half million dollars. And if you're a black belt, blue belt, purple belt, and you are a world champion and you become the best in your division, a two-time world champion, three-time world champion, four-time world champion, I'm going to look you in the eye and say, if I gave you a million dollars in exchange for your medal, that people are attempting to say that doesn't mean anything, would you exchange a million dollars cash for your gold medal and lose every relationship, every friendship, everything that you had to do or anything that's connected in any way to you obtaining that medal, would you do it? I guarantee you and promise you that the answer is no. Now, there's good news and there's bad news. Not everyone can become a world champion. Not everyone can become a Pan Am champion. Not everyone can become the best in their division, the best in the world. And that's what everything is moved on. You think about baseball, you think about NFL, let me talk about football. Right now, there's hundreds of millions of dollars being spent on collegiate football. Even more money being spent in the NFL. It's no different from jiu-jitsu, although the money is different. But when you think about the world championship, people are not going to rent and pay for pay-per-view to watch the world championships to not see the stars. They want to see the stars. The stars in each sport are what moves the entire sport, all the top level guys that want to become a world champion, all the top level guys that want to become the best in the world, everyone else in the world is watching them in the forums. They're talking about this match versus this. What's going to happen when Hoffa fights this person? What's going to happen when Buchacha fights that person? They want to see the top people who are striving for world titles, striving to become the best. So yes, People throughout the world are chasing medals. But it's all within the martial arts. Some people are going to go off and do sport jiu-jitsu. Some people are going to go off and do MMA. And when they go off and do MMA and they want to become the best and become a UFC champion, people are going to buy their pay-per-view. So if you're somebody out here that is striving for medals and striving to be the best, and you hear anybody trying to put you down, anybody trying to stop you from reaching your dreams. Don't let it happen. It's okay. And the experience, the relationships, the friendships that you are going to get through your goal of chasing after the becoming the best in the world are going to become so valuable that one day you wouldn't even trade it in for a million dollars.